What's up everybody? I'm Jeremy. You guys are watching Warfels Morse. This week's video, it's part number two of what we held back from the 2023 season. So make sure you guys sit back, relax. We got some killer snakes to show you guys. Of course, you know, we had to save the best stuff for last. So uh, if you didn't go and check out part one, go back, rewatch. I'll put a card in one of these cores here. Go back, check it out. See what we held back from part one if you didn't see that video already. But definitely make sure you guys stay tuned for this because part two is killer. I'm not going to lie, folks. Uh, also, make sure you guys do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. And drop me a comment, please. Which one of these babies is your favorite? I'm not going to lie. I don't know how you guys are going to be able to pick out of this whole everything I've got to show you guys for uh, part two here. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in and check out these holdbacks. Gettysburg Reptile Expo LLC is located at the All-Star Event Complex in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. It's a 45,000 square foot venue with 125 plus vendors and top quality breeders, along with 270 plus tables. If you're looking for a python, boa, colubra, gecko, lizard, or amphibian, you've come to the right place. It doesn't matter if you're a breeder looking for that missing piece to your project or a pet owner looking for your next scaly friend, Gettysburg Reptile Expo LLC has you covered. Need an incubator or rack system? They have you covered with sea serpents set up there to meet all your needs. The next show dates are November 11th of 2023, March 23rd, and July 20th of 2024. Show times are from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Make sure to check them out on their website, Instagram, and Facebook. Mark your counters because this is one show you don't want to miss. So I'll see you at Gettysburg Reptile Expo, LLC. First up... We are going to go with, uh, all right, we, all right, we're going to start off with the lowest out of this. And up first, we've got this beautiful TSK Xantic 100% Heck Clown female. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Hopefully, she's showing up good on the camera. You guys all know Xantics are kind of hard to catch the true color of them. Just, I don't know. Cameras never do Xantics justice at all. She is just gorgeous looking. Absolutely gorgeous. Of course, working towards that Xantic clown project. Beautiful, beautiful girl, though. Make sure you check out Nathan at Infinite Possible Pythons. He is your guy to go to if you want to get into the Bang Project. On top of it, he's working a bunch of awesome ball python projects. Kahua geckos, Lichianus geckos, crested geckos, some scaleless corn snakes, and he is your one-stop shop for all your branding needs. So check him out. Make sure you check out Chris at BNS Reptilia. If you're looking for a ball python, boa, colubrid, blood python, he is the guy to go to. He's also a rat breeder on the eastern side of PA, and he is Pennsylvania's distributor of Coco to Go and the Chipper, which is by far the best cocoa substrate on the market today. So make sure you go ahead and check him out. Number two... Yeah, now, this is a little bit hard between two and three here because they're both basically the same. But this is our another female, but this is Pastel TSK Exantic 100% Heck Clown. She does have our very nice Pastel line. If you can't tell, uh, you can just... Uh, the Pastel line that I have in my Exantic stuff here, it throws some really crazy looking patterns, some very nice coloring as well. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Love her head too. Her head's just phenomenal looking. But absolutely, if I can get her to stay still for Dom. Gorgeous, gorgeous animal. Again, that Exanti Clown Project, just working towards making it a lot easier to hit those combos. All right, next up. Is this guy? Now you guys just saw his sisters. This is our male holdback. He likes to run. But this is another pastel TSK Exantic 100% heck clown. But this guy, like I said, is a male. So another stepping stone just to helping make it easier for us to hit those Exantic clowns. Wish this guy would sit still. But I do love his head and just the way how it almost connects there at the back of the neck. 
beautiful, beautiful dude. Absolutely crazy looking pattern. Maybe he'll settle down there so that way Don can get, get some nice camera work done on him. And there he goes. But there again, pastel TSK Exantic male, 100% heck clown. Just love that pattern. Can't find that missing piece to your breeding project? Hit up Triforce Morphs. They've been in the industry for 10 years and counting. They're working heavily with clown pides, hypo clowns, hypo pides, along with lace, citron, and the matter project. Can't let out the fact that they have crested geckos as well. Trust, respect, and integrity. That's the Triforce way. Are you ready to take it to the next level? Then check out DTMG Pythons. Danny is best known for his awesome clown ball python projects. This year's focus is confusion, hurricane, and disco inferno clowns. He also specializes in high-end crested gecko morphs such as Exantic, Lily White, and Exantic Lily Whites, along with the Deadpool line of gargoyle geckos. Check out his morph market and Instagram, DTMG Pythons. Just buy it. One more ball python holdback, and then we'll get to probably what I would consider the holy grails of the 23 breeding season. Now this gal, she actually just hatched out mm, eh, about a month ago. She uses what I call our Christmas present clutch. But this is a pastel orange dream TSK Exantic 100% het clown female. She was the only one out of that whole clutch that actually got the heck clown. And the, the only way we know that is because of Charlie at Grey Rider Reptiles, shedtesting.com, guys. Uh, he hooked me, he did the shed testing for me, and we discovered that she is heck clown. Let's see if I can get her to open up a little bit here. But beautiful, beautiful pattern. Just love her head. She's got just a phenomenal looking head. Great coloring, beautiful pattern. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous little girl. Cannot wait for her to get up to size and put her to use. All right, now the moment some of you were probably waiting for. Let's dive into the other species we work with, the jungle carpets, guys. As you know, I held back two of them, and a male and a female. So uh, let's dive in. We'll show we'll show off the female first because the male, I think, is he's just the he's just top notch. Now this is where it came we needed to have a cameraman especially for this because these guys will not sit still on they won't sit still on a uh you know a flat surface they like to move too much but her yellows are starting to come in she's absolutely looking gorgeous got a lot of nice tipping up in here just an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous baby and if you can't tell, they're getting big quick, guys. But she is just stunning. She's going to be one drop-dead gorgeous girl as an adult. I have no doubt about that. As you can tell, they've got a good bit of size to them already. She's probably already, I don't know, 18 inches long, something like that, probably. It's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous coloring. Love seeing that yellow come in every single time. If you noticed also, the temperament, guys, has been, their temperament is just phenomenal. Just give them a little bit of work, as from babies, and... They act no different than any other snake on the market. No nipping, no being a pain in the butt. Just gentle, fun to work with. But this is the female. Let's get the male.
Lucas Land and Royals produces some truly high caliber snakes. Kai has been breeding ball pythons for six seasons and counting. He's working toward multi recessive combos such as DG Clown, Hypo Clown Pied, Sunset Candy Pied, and DG Exantic Pied. He's working with several other species of snakes, but next year he's going to start breeding Boa Imperators. And he also has a small group of super dwarf retics. So be on the lookout for some super dwarf cow retics. Become a royal at Lucas Landed Royals. If you want to use the best reptile record keeping and tracking software on the market today, scan the QR code or click our partnership link in the description down below for a free 30-day trial of Husbandry Pro. I promise you, you will not regret it. All right, now here is the man. Now his yellows are taking a little bit longer to come in. But that's all right, because if you look at him, you will notice that he is just tipped to no end. There's just all that tipping in there. He was the most tipped out baby from the whole clutch. And his head's even getting a lot of that going on, too. I don't know if he'll sit still long enough for Dom to catch it or if the camera will focus right. But he's got a lot of tipping going on with his head. But just look all those yellow scales that have the black outlines that's what i'm talking about with the tipping guys i mean it's just the whole entire length of this dude absolutely gorgeous very reduced pattern as well i love just the look of this guy i've been told several times by people that they think that there's uh, diamond blood in there. And it's like, man, it's, if there is, I don't know about it. But he is just absolutely dropped at gorgeous. And again, you know, very nice. No, not nipping, all that stuff. Just easy going, nice and fun to handle. These guys are like great ambassadors for carpet pythons. I'm not gonna lie. This is why I tell why this is why I get hyped about this stuff, guys. And look at that. You show me a snake that looks this beautiful and stunning in its single gene form naturally, and uh, I will be shocked because there's not many out there that are this breathtaking in their natural state. But again, our male jungle holdback, we actually did name this guy because I don't plan on him going anywhere for a long, long time. But we kind of kept with our little Viking theme that we got going on here. And uh, his name is Ragnar. Absolutely gorgeous male. All right, guys, so that is it for our holdbacks from the 2023 breeding season. If you can't tell, I mean, I love the ball pythons, but these carpets, guys, these things get me that freaking excited. You have no idea. I think everybody should own one of these. And rightfully so. I mean, you can see why, you know, they're not nippy. They're very nice, easygoing, easy to handle animals. But uh, these guys really get me excited. I think everybody that watches this channel and supports this channel, I think you guys all really need, if you don't have one, you really need to think about getting one. Anyway, that and Exantic. You all need Exantic too. TSK Exantic. So uh, remember, hit me up. But anyway, that's going to be it, folks. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, all the channel sponsors. Hope you guys enjoyed how I liked do, doing the ads this time instead of them all lumped together. You know, space on that a little bit. Greatly appreciate all the channel sponsors. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Drop me that comment. Which... <clears throat> Which of all of these snakes was your favorite? Uh, I'll be surprised if these guys don't take the cake. But hey, who knows? Maybe you guys liked all the Exantic stuff. I don't know. But uh, I'll be surprised if the carpets don't take it. And on top of it, channel members, thank you very much for all your love and support. Greatly appreciate it. Check out all of our channel members, which you should be seeing right now up on the screen. Greatly appreciate all of them. Go ahead, check them out. And uh, feel free to check out the channel membership in the description down below there's a link click it check it out there are some perks i need to update onto there so uh, be ready for that as well and that's gonna be it folks i greatly appreciate all love and support i'll catch you next time later